how to create nfts for free on open seas hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you how you can create your very own nfts completely free without having to pay any gas fees whatsoever on open seas so having said that let's just jump into the video so first things first as you can see this is the open seas this is how the website looks like and once you're over here what i want you guys to do is just simply sign up now to sign up all you have to do is click on the wallet icon over here at the top right corner and over here as you can see we have a couple of different options these are some of the uh you know cryptocurrency wallets that are available as of right now so we have metamask coinbase coinbase wallet wallet connect formatic and if you don't like these you have other options as well as you can see for now i'm going to choose metamask i'm just Simply going to click on metamask and it'll open up this website where i can just simply download the extension for my browser and once it's click on add to you know add extension wait a couple of seconds for the extension to be installed onto your computer and as you can see over here my extension has been installed let me just pin it over here as you can see it will automatically take you to the website where you can create your account simply click on get started and you have two options in front of you you can either have already created an account and you can re-log into it by using the secret recovery phase or you can create a new one both are very easy now i've already created a wallet so i'm just going to import my wallet using the secret recovery phase and i will catch you guys in a little bit and as you can see i have signed in all i have to do now is click on all done and there we go i have created my uh, metamask account now all i have to do is go back to open seas and reload the page and click on the wallet icon and click on metamask and it'll open up the metamask notification panel over here which will help me to you know connect my account to open seas and there we go now that our account is connected we can go ahead and start creating nfts all you have to do is click on create over here at the top right corner or over here at the bottom so if you click on create it'll send a transaction to your wallet which you will have to sign so that you can you know so that the uh, main transaction so that the transaction can be seen on to the wallet itself so it stays there so once you click on sign it'll open up the creation tab over here where we can go ahead and start creating an nft now to create an nft all you have to do is just simply upload your own image that you already have created so and for this instance or in this case for me i have already created a couple of them i'm just gonna go ahead and find them real quick and uh which one do i choose let's go with this one again and i'm just gonna name it turtle and then in the external link i'm just simply gonna go ahead and upload the external link to a website where people can see my work and stuff like that and in the description you can add whatever you want but make sure to add your own website if you are going to become a professional nft artist then it is very very crucial that you have a place to showcase some of your work so that people can come over there and see that you're not just a you know a fluke or that you are a someone who is professional and is taking his work seriously so Make sure you add that link and add descriptions as well for me i'm just gonna write you know i'm it is because this is not a real video i'm just you know just telling you how to you know create an nft but you guys get my point right you have to enter in a really really good description about your nft and what it is and uh, what makes it special as well special you have your properties down over here what that basically means is that if you have a specific nft that is very very rare that is different from the rest of the nfts that you are uploading then it is, is better to you know add in properties to showcase those traits as well so or uh, so in this case like if i've already added you know properties if for example i was adding another nft that was similar to it but it was red turtle then i would have you know come over here and i would have you know i would have added, added in a color and then i would have added in red so and add more if i had more you get the point point. and then after that you have your blockchain so you have two blockchain options in front of them you have either ethereum or you have polygon now both of these are pretty good and they both have different purposes and they all both have you know pros and cons as well now if you choose ethereum the pro is you will be exposed to a bigger and wider market and your nft will be able to be sold much much faster much much quicker and you can create collections as well but on the downside you do have to pay two gas fees that's right you have to pay gas fees twice meaning to become a professional artist or for ethereum blockchain you have to you know mint two nfts and pay the gas fees twice after that you won't have to pay any gas fees however if you choose polygon 
you don't have to pay any gas fees whatsoever which is why it is a free and fast blockchain experience that also works with ethereum but the downside is that it doesn't have a pretty big market range and if you are going to use polygon then uh, maybe your nft might get sold might not be sold as quickly as possible as or as quickly as you want it to be because polygon not a lot of people use polygon to you know buy nfts they're either using ethereum or that's it so for me i'm just going to go ahead and choose polygon and another thing you can't uh you know create collections on polygon however you can change the supply of the you know nft so, so that they can be more and there is no gas cost to you so there you go so once you have everything set up all you have to do is just simply click on create and there you go your nft has been created you have created turtle you created turtle there you go it's done now i do have to mention that uh if you don't know where you to you know find gas fees then you can go over to this website over here which is called etherscan slash gas tracker right now as you can see over here gas is pretty average right now it's not high it's not low either it is low this is considered low it's pretty nice the, the, so all you have to do is like you know is uh, like pay 40 dollars on the high end and 39 dollars on the low end as well and even in the average one so it's not that high although they do fluctuate a lot so as you can see over here it just reached 70 so as you can see it just reached 70 so for that reason you can say that it fluctuates a lot and it can reach a pretty high number where you have to pay quite a lot up to 200 dollars for an nft so that is why i would recommend that if it's uh, you know 40 right here then i would recommend paying a little bit more than 40 let's say 45 or 50 so that even if it go you know the gas fees goes high if you're buying an nft your position will stay even if it's up so make sure that is a tip for me to you guys make sure to pay a little bit extra than what you are intended to so now that you know that Let's go ahead and sell this nft simply come over here and click on sell and over here just simply enter in the amount that you think is suitable for it for me i'm just going to go ahead and enter like for the duration i'm just going to go ahead and choose three days and then as you can see we have the 2.5 percent gas fees that are 2.5 percent service fee that i was telling you about now this is the only fee that you will have to pay but you will can only pay it only if your nft is sold you can't pay it before or after you can't pay it before you can only pay it after so let's go ahead and click on complete listing and it over here it'll tell you to sign the message where to your you know metamask wallet to complete the transaction click on sign and there you go you have completed you have listed your nft it is now ready to be sold it is on the marketplace and you can cancel it anytime you want just simply log in and come over to your nft collection well you know come over to your profile you will see the your nfts and you can cancel them anytime so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible and if you enjoyed this video as i said make sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye